So speaking next is Aviezri Frankel. He's going to urge us to ask not what Doran.org can do for you, but ask us to ask what we can do for Doran. Okay, there is a well-known serum called Bitis serum. <coughs> And uh, Kevin uh, O'Brien found out that it's already Riley uh, knew the theorem. And it says the following. Take some irrational positive number alpha, and uh, so 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta is equal to 1 times beta. And let A be uh, the sequence of the n alpha integer part, and B is the sequence of the integer part of and beta. Then the sets A and B split the positive integers. In other words, the intersection is empty and the union is all, is all of the positive integers. Um, the condition uh, is clearly necessary. That's a density argument shows that, for example, takes even the, the odds, 2n and 2n minus 1. Then 2 and 2, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 1. So that's clear. But the, the theorem states that the, uh, this condition is also sufficient. Now, um, uh, before uh, Richard Asky was uh, talking about paste in mathematics. So uh, I'll show you a tasty proof of the book. And uh, this actually, uh, so what happened was this. In uh, last, last month's uh, monthly had a solution of a problem that I posed maybe two years ago. And uh, there was a solution given by somebody. And then the month, uh, monthly also decided to give my proof. And then there was an editorial comment. The result is so astonishing and yet easily proved let me include a short proof for the reader's pleasure. Okay? So here is the one for the one, the pleasure proof. The one understands what it means, the one for the one. And uh, I want also to explain it to you. The one in Hebrew means uh, a high level gift. So here is a high level gift for the one, namely a pleasure proof. And it goes like that. Take any positive integer k. And the number of terms less than k is the integer part of k over alpha plus k over beta. That's very easy to see because uh, n over alpha integer part is less than k for n equals 1, 2, and so on, up to k over alpha. And the same is uh, less than k for the multiples of 1 over beta. And so you have this. Uh, I add this in as an explanation in the monthly. Uh, what I have here on the slide is exactly the proof given in the monthly. <coughs> and so that's equal to k, uh, that's the last line here, plus k of alpha plus minus k of alpha is equal to k minus 1. In the line before that, we use the uh, equality 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta is 1. And uh, now we just step up k by 1. So uh, we look at the number of terms less than k plus 1. So there are k such terms. Hence, there is exactly one term less than k plus 1, but not less than k. It equals k. based on the proof that I gave in 82, but it's slightly, uh, slightly simplified. OK, that's uh, the one for the one. And application is uh, P and positions for in two-player games. So an end position is a position from which the next player can force it in. That is to say, the player is now about to play from the given position. And P is a P position, is a position from which the previous player can play, the one who made the last move. 
and uh, a script or Gothic P and N is a set of all P position, set of all N positions. <coughs> so I just remind you what the P and N mean here. And then I claim that the position U is a P position if and only if all its followers are N position. F of U is a follower. What is a follower? It's a position that can be reached from U in one move. And a position is in N if and only if it has a P follower. The intuition is this, that if you're in an N position, you, you can win. What do you do? Uh, you go to a P position. And then your opponent, because of the first line, uh, has no other uh, chance but to go to an end position, and so on. And if the game is finite, then you actually reach a zero, which is, uh, which is a deep position, so you win. Uh, so notice that P and N are not symmetric. In the directed game graph, uh, P is a graph kernel, so it's an independent set and everything outside the kernel has an edge leading into the kernel. And the sets P and N split the positive integers. So that's a connection to the beautiful proof before. Conversely, splitting into uh, at least two sets often induce new games. So an example is Whitehouse game. So we have a game on two piles of tokens, and there are two possible moves. Either you take a positive number of tokens from a single pile, or else you take the same positive number of tokens from both piles. And the player making the last move wins. So I claim that uh, zero, 0 by default is a preposition. The player <coughs> playing from zero, 0 can't do anything, and so by default his opponent wins. And I claim that also 1, 2 is a key position. In other words, the second player can win. Why? Suppose that I go from, I'm the first player, I go from 1 to 0, and we're in 0, 2, and then you can take go to 0, 0. If I take 1 from the 2, we are in 1, 1, then you can take both. And if I go to 1, 0 in my first move by taking the two, uh, or the, both of these two tokens, then you go also to 0. So 1, 2 is um, a key position, and it's in red in, because I want you to remember <coughs> that. Here is a list of, uh, okay, of the first few uh, key positions. And uh, if you look at it, you see that uh, Bn is equal to An plus 1, S plus N, sorry. But the question is, what is always the next An? So the next An, as it says here, is the next of Ai, Bi, or I less than N. What does mix mean? The minimum excludes. In other words, it's the smallest non-negative integer that didn't yet occur. And that makes this thing from one on, again, is a, a complementary set of uh, integers. So a n and b n split the integers from n, uh, from n equals to one on. Um, there's also an algebraic strategy. Um, let tau be the golden section of golden ratio, whatever you call it which is just a solution of 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 1. What? Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's another typo. Beta is equal to uh, other power <coughs> typos. Tau squared equals to tau plus 1. It should be pi squared equals 5 plus 1. And you'll see many more such typos as we go along. <laughs> <laughs> um, 